welcome back to my channel. It is Monday and I thought I would bring you guys to the grocery store with me. I usually meal prep and meal plan on Sundays, but I figured um, why not do it on a Monday? Um, so I wrote down all my meals and the groceries that I need for this week. Um, that's including Monday to Friday. Saturdays I kind of just do my own thing and then usually Sundays I make my own um, I make my own meal plan again. So I also have a tip for you guys when you guys are grocery shopping. First of all, try your best to write out what your meals are going to be for the week. I know this can be very difficult um, and might take some time, but I really highly recommend it because it really helps me stay on track. It really helps me um, stay motivated. And when I feel like I have no idea what to make it's just there and I can look and be like oh yeah this is what I'm gonna make I find that when I don't have a plan it's easier for me to fall off uh fall off um and it's a lot easier to just grab something not as healthy because you don't you, you make excuses um so it's just worked for me um, and I find it's been really helpful in helping me stay on track with my goals. Um, another thing is, is if you're not writing down your, if you're not writing down your goals, you not your goals, if you're not writing down what you're eating for the week, what I suggest you do is when you go to the grocery store, they say all the best food, the healthiest food is around the edges or around the, the perimeter is that the right word? Perimeter? I don't fucking know. Okay. They say that all the healthy food is on the outsides of the grocery stores. If you're going up and down the aisles, typically the more unhealthy food is on the aisles. Um, except for like canned beans and stuff like that and pasta sauce. Um, I pretty much only go down one aisle. I don't even go down the other ones. And that really helps me because then I know, okay... I don't even have to go down this aisle, so I'm not going to look and then I'm not going to buy it. And that is also what helps with creating a grocery list is that you don't just go to the grocery store and, you know, aimlessly buy food and then you don't end up using it and you end up throwing it out and it goes bad. Or you go to the grocery store and you buy unhealthy snacks because you don't know what you're going to have for the week, you know? So it just what works for me and I really suggest... Um, doing that. So I will bring you guys to the grocery store. I don't know how much footage I'll get um, in the grocery store and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys everything that I got for the week. So I literally got three bags of groceries and it cost me like $66. It's so funny, well not funny, but I just, like, when it comes to my health and buying groceries, like, I don't usually mind spending extra money, like, at all. Like, there was a bag of dark, dark chocolate chips and it cost me, like, almost eight bucks for the bag because I just, like, didn't want to buy the regular chocolate chips, which makes sense because, like, it's just a healthier option, so I'm literally paying to live healthier. And for me, I don't see why that's a problem. And that's why I just don't understand, well, like, I do understand it because I'm lucky enough to live at home and be able to purchase, like, more expensive groceries. Um, but it's just, it's so, I can imagine for people who have a big family, you know, for me, I'm literally, every week I go shopping and it costs me about 60, on average, about 60 bucks a week for groceries. So, that's not awful. Um... But every two weeks, it's about 120 bucks. So it's about 240 bucks. No, 120 bucks. Yeah, it's about. Okay, I can't do the fucking math, but you guys can figure it out. It's not awful for for me, but that's one person. If I was feeding a family of four, that would be crazy. So I'm just really lucky that I can do it right now. But um, is it? feasible I don't know 
Like, I'm sure I could go to a different grocery store. I go to Metro. It's a little bit more expensive. I'm sure I could go to, like, a different grocery store and buy some other things for cheaper. But I just, right now in my life where I'm at, I don't mind spending a decent amount of money on, like, for example, my organic chicken that I buy is usually, like, $16. And I probably won't do that if one day when I have a family I'll just buy regular chicken breasts. But for now I can do it. So anyways, sorry about the little rant. I just, I literally have three bags of groceries and it, it's like almost 70 bucks. So it's crazy, but it's worth it. And I know that's another part of doing this health journey is being able to spend the money on healthy groceries and being able to keep up with that commitment. So just another part that, you know, people might be unaware of. So I'll go through everything that I got. Um, started off with some of these um, medium tortillas and they're 50% corn, uh, corn wheat, which is a little bit better for you. I got some asparagus, sweet potato, zucchini. I got some dark chocolate chips. I got some oat flour in case I want to make anything. I got some organic tomato sauce, um, tomato and basil. I got some egg whites. I got some tilapia, strawberries. I got some almond oat base for my coffees in the morning. I got some salmon and I got some ground chicken. So that's everything that I got and I just made a tuna sandwich al using albacore tuna and there's celery, red onion, a little bit of mayonnaise, tomato, and some cheese. Yummy! Hey guys, um, I just finished a workout. I'm going to be eating breakfast. I always do fasted workouts just because I don't like to eat before I work out. I don't like the way I feel when I like feel like full. Um, I actually did a workout last night after dinner as well and it reminded me of why I don't like to eat before I work out just because I hate that feel full feeling. Um, but this morning for breakfast um, I'm just having a yogurt bowl with blueberries and a piece of peanut butter toast. So um, I have a special kind of yogurt that I use. It's like a silk, this one. And then I'll just put blueberries on top and then I'll toast a piece of bread and put peanut butter on it. And it's pretty simple, so quick and easy. I've never actually had this oat base yogurt before. It's pretty good. And I just put a whole whack of blueberries in my toast. Sometimes my breakfasts are this basic and not that much. You guys are probably thinking like you're eating ra rabbit food. But sometimes my breakfasts are actually a lot. It really depends on the day and it's all about balance. So that's my advice. Hey guys, it is um, just around 2.15 on Tuesday. This is my second coffee. I've literally been having two coffees a day now, probably not every day, but on slower days, which doesn't really make sense because on, well it does. When I'm like having a more busy day, I feel like I don't have time to make another coffee. Um, but I have to go to the grocery store because I forgot to pick up chicken. I thought I had more chicken than I did, but I don't. So I have to go there because I'm making chicken quesadillas tonight. Um, so yeah, I have to go to the grocery store. But I just wanted to update you guys that I had a banana. And now this is my second coffee. And I'm going to be making dinner later. Um, I also just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be able to show you guys every meal that I make. I just feel like the video will be way too long. But I just wanted to give you guys a gist and show face every day and show you at least one meal a day. So yeah. 
guys, so I know I haven't spoken to you guys yet today. It's Wednesday. Um, kind of been, you know, a busier day. Um, and my meals haven't been that fun, to be honest. Um, for breakfast, I just had a blueberry yogurt smoothie. For lunch, I had just dippy eggs with toast. And now for dinner, I'm having salmon with brown rice and asparagus. So I'm currently cooking that. Um, I actually did two workouts today. I did a morning hit and then I actually signed up for F45. Um, I signed up for the Whippy location because they're obviously not open in Toronto. Um, and holy shit, it kicked my ass. Um, on Mondays, I did like a $7, seven, oh my god, I can't speak. For a seven day week, it's just $7. And then after that, it goes to like regular pricing, which I'm not sure what it is, but I know it's really expensive. Um, and I just wanna try it out because I don't really lack motivation. That's not my issue. I just don't have the proper weights at home. I don't have like dumb, like I have dumbbells, but I don't have like heavy, heavy weights. So I feel like that's the only reason I wanted to go to F45 was to get like the cardio and the strength. Um, but today I just did a, a cardio class and it was like, it was like hard, but it wasn't anything that I can't do at home. And so I'm excited to try out the strength or resistant classes because I feel like that will be very different than what I'm used to doing at home and that's why I want to go. I don't want to pay for something that I can already do at home, you know? Because my issue is not motivation. I literally kick my own ass every day and I put myself into gear and I don't need anybody else to do that for me. So I'm happy and I'm thankful for that. But I just want more of that push and I want more of the heavy weights and diversity. You know, if that makes sense. So that's where I went today. So I did two workouts and I'm really tired. Um, the Leafs come on tonight, so I'm excited to watch the Leaf game after I just crush this dinner. I'll show you guys. Um, this is my brown rice. And this is my salmon with my asparagus. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I think for a snack tonight, what I'll do is um, have, sometimes I have my vanilla frozen yogurt and I have dark chocolate chips with it. So I think I will do that while I watch a Leaf game. So yeah, sorry I really haven't been active much today um, on this vlog, but I do want to let you guys know that I am what, this is what I do after I, so I've been crossing everything off. So this is Monday, this is Tuesday, and now this is Wednesday. So I'll cross this off. And then when I'm done with the day, I cross through it. So I should cross through Tuesday. And then yeah, tomorrow and then Friday. So I'm staying on top of it and man, it's game changing. I love it. I really, really love it. And I suggest you guys do the same thing. Like I cannot stress enough how much diet has changed my fucking life. Um, I just, it feels good to make your own food. It literally, you feel like you're fueling your body. It's just amazing. It's, it's really amazing. But anyways, I'm gonna let this cook and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, this is the final product. I cannot wait to eat. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday morning and I'm just making my breakfast. I'm having almond banana, no, almond butter, banana oats, whatever. And all that I need is vanilla, sorry, unsweetened almond milk, cinnamon, my oats, which are um, old fashioned whole grain oats peanut butter and vanilla extract and then water and banana obviously so I'm just gonna get to making that and I'll show you guys what it looks like Tiktones.com
Okay, hello everybody. It is now lunchtime. It's Thursday and I'm making a mixed green salad with chicken and strawberries. Um, there's going to be rice in there as well, brown rice. And I'm going to be making the sauce, uh, sorry, the dressing. And it's just Dijon mustard, well, um, lemon, and that's my mom. And, and um, olive oil. And... Um, I'll just show you guys throughout the process uh, what it looks like. So I have the rice there, spinach, chicken, yummy chicken. Cucumbers, <laughs> and strawberries. Yum! Oh my god, this looks friggin' delicious. And on top of that, our dressing. Mmm. Does that not look delicious? Hey guys, um, happy Friday. Sorry it's nighttime and I've been MIA. Um, today is one of those days where I had my breakfast and then I was out like all day. I got my hair done. I'll make a video about that after. Um, but I'm just getting home. Well, I got home like half an hour ago and I've just been cooking dinner. And my battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna make this really quick. I'm making tilapia with tomato sauce quin and quinoa, and it's looking really good. And that's the quinoa. And then the fish is cooking. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like when it's done, and all the ingredients will be in the description box. So this is the final fish with quinoa and in the tomato sauce there is one shallot garlic powder and then just regular tomato sauce on top of the tilapia i was gonna do green beans but i don't have any i actually don't have any vegetables so that's why this looks sad but yeah